All right, students. So let's look at this particular term, DBAAS, that is Database as a Service. Now, this, I think you would have heard about SaaS, that is Software as a Service. Let me take briefly into the history of what SaaS was. Initially, the softwares which were used by various companies were installed on local systems. And the person has to actually go to that system, access that system, and only then those softwares were accessible to various users. Now, this moved to internet. And now, the only thing that required was web connection and a user ID and a password. The same thing is happening with databases. Initially, when databases came into picture, they were pretty much into local systems. And then now the services have come, which can actually give you the access of database of your own company over internet. And that is called as database as a service. Now, database as a service, as we have already discussed, is nothing but users can access databases through cloud. What you need is a user ID and a password. You can actually enter that and whatever access is given to you, you can access the entire data of your company on cloud from anywhere. It reduces the need for obviously or the on-premise hardware and maintenance requirements, which obviously a lot of uh, cultural shift happening. This goes parallel to that. A lot of companies are now going for hybrid models and work from home models. I think database as a service is something which is coming up as a necessity for such kind of companies. Now, it allows businesses to focus on their core operations. They don't have to focus on how to generate databases and where to store databases, what kind of hardware will be required, what kind of software will be required. All that kind of headache is now handled by a third party vendor and those third party vendors basically are taking care of your database and the access of those database to various people in your organization. It actually, believe it or not, results into cost savings and increased efficiency as such. It saves the cost as well because you don't have to put in all the hardware and software and all the maintenance and whatever overhead or direct cost which is required, you know, to set up a database can be now avoided by various companies. The benefits of DBS is, right, is scalability. That is, I can scale quickly. I can scale in both length and breadth. That is, I can give more access to the same people and I can give all those accesses to more number of people. Can you see? I mean, it, it increases to length and breadth because ultimately what the third party vendors have to do is basically nothing but to create another user ID and give the access of database to that user ID. So it has contributed to the scalability greatly over here, right? A DBAS. Of course, there is a lot of flexibility, right? I can, for example, if I have created 8 to 10 da databases, this year. Next year, I realized that, okay, probably I don't need two to three of them because that data is old now. As per my data strategy, I don't need those databases. I can remove them and replace them with the new databases. So that level of adjustments which businesses need to do for evolving data strategy can now be done. Reliability is obviously one factor. These third-party DBSS providers are experts in their own field. Hence, Security-wise, architecture-wise, data strategy-wise, all these third-party vendors can be trusted and uh, you can rely more on these companies who are providing DBAS as a service to various other businesses. And availability and disaster recovery capabilities is something which is just a cherry on the top. But there are certain considerations for DBAS as well. One is security considerations, right? Imaging the data of a different system of a country going on to EBASs. Obviously, that is something which various organizations, institutes at that level will try and avoid, right? So that is why users must ensure that their data is protected from unauthorized access. And this is something which is of the biggest challenge in front of DBASs at this point of time. Compliance requirements are met because most of the geographically different locations have different geographical compliance itself, compliance requirements, I should say. All that has to be done. This is one of the primary challenge of DBASs. The solutions that these companies are providing is something like, which we call end-to-end -end encryption. We have better access controls. And of course, timely auditing is something. These are the solutions which these databases as a service provider companies are focusing upon. You know, if we just do a brief comparison between DBASs and traditional databases, lower cost, faster deployment and easier management are the three major advantages apart from scalability, adaptability and flexibility of DBASs over traditional databases. Traditional databases require significant hardware and software investments. We've already seen that. I need to set up a local system. There's one person who is using database. There's another person joining the department. Now he wants to use the database and another system. All the software downloads, hardware requires connection, all that kind of stuff need to be done for that person as well, which now can be avoided for various businesses.
ongoing maintenance and upgrades you need not to worry about the businesses need not to worry about that this can be handled by the third party vendors over here and quick deployment and management of database in the cloud this is what i was talking about if you don't require certain level of databases you can get rid of them add some more databases over there using the same space with the same cost so your adaptability and the efficiency with which you can use your own database increases for the companies now major cloud database services providers are Amazon Relational Database Service, RDS, which we call it, Google Cloud Firestore, Azure SQL Database, and MongoDB Atlas. These are the four major cloud database providers. Apart from this, there are other database providers as well for both offline and cloud-based database services.